listen up. It's the number one voice of the tri-state. I'm number one. It, 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 it's clicking up 215. So let the show begin. Cheerio. Y'all already know who it is. It's your man Smooth. Girl, Ani D, cooking up 215. And we right back at it in the kitchen. And today's guest is Southwest Philly Zone, KP. What's up, Good KP? What's up, man? Glad to have you here, you my man? brother. Glad Appreciate to be you here. Sliding, Glad dude. to be here. You already know. You're working hard, man. They see you every day on the gram. It's nothing new, you know, yeah. dropping bars. For sure. Yeah. Trying to stay consistent. Trying to stay consistent. You do mm. it, man. What, what's the... What's the feeling like, you know, to, to get so much love and appreciation when it comes to the bars you drop? Because a, a lot of heavy hitters be in your comments. Yeah. And I'll be watching. They be in that joint. You see them blue checks pop up. Yeah. How you feel when you get that type of respect? Um, I, It's definitely surreal at times because sometimes, I don't know. I'm real, like, uh, I'm big on knowing myself and, and knowing my uh, my power. So it's like... I sometimes it's like I feel like I'm supposed to be here or I feel like I'm supposed to be further. Right. But sometimes it's like you got to really just be thankful at where you at. You know what I mean? How far thankful you Thankful for the position you yeah, in. Yeah, because it's definitely, it's definitely. Um, An opportunity. Like you ever heard of like being in the moment and not knowing, realizing you in the moment that Hello. you pray for? Right. Like I'm right, in that right. moment right now. So it's like I got to make sure I'm always recognizing that. Yeah, and recognizing that you it. I mean, because sometimes we working so hard, it's like right. we just trying to get to the next level. Right, and that's you the part I mean? that a lot of people don't be don't be peeping. Like sometimes you you truly do yeah. get lost in the fact that you might be in that moment. Yeah, like a lot of outside people be staring at you, like, bro, you lit, yeah. you bull right now. Yeah. You like, man, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make it still. No like, bro, I ain't feeling what you seeing. Yeah, like, no cap. so it's hard. Yeah, like Rick, Rick Ross people. said something the other day. He said something about. Um, Somebody asked him, do you know what you mean to the streets? And he mm -hmm. was like, yo, I don't, you know, we mm -hmm. don't be noticing what we mean to the streets. Like, how many people probably listen to you and really truly get a message from yeah. from the, you know, no. the bars that yeah. you drop? Because you don't just spit about anything. You normally yeah. spit about the streets and the struggle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do you feel like you understand what you mean to the streets I don't yet? be knowing. <laughs> you don't know yet. Like he said, I kind of feel the same way as, as far as that. Like, it be, it's... I sometimes it's not it's normal now, but before like people walking up to you saying certain right. stuff, I had to get used to that. Like we from Philly, so mm. yeah. I'm always on defense. But um, I guess that means I know I'm doing what I'm supposed that to do, but I don't necessarily realize like right. It's still what, it's it, still what so I mean routine. or what I mean to the city or what I mean like in the culture right now. Like right. I, don't be, I don't yeah I don't really be feeling you don't feel it. Yeah. So, so can I ask you something? So when you're in your quiet time, when you by yourself, do you, you ever just think about like everything that you put together or where you are? Nah, I don't really have quiet time. Even when it's quiet, like my mind be racing. Oh, <laughs> I, got, man. I was telling her so, the same thing. I said, well, I can't never yeah, get a I quiet mind. Yeah, it's like when you really, grinding and you, yeah. you always just think about what you need to do next. Yeah, like, yeah, what no am cap. I supposed to be doing? Yeah. I, I'm always feeling lost. Like everybody could look at you and be like, yo, you you doing this, you doing it, man. Yeah. You don't know. I feel like I'm missing <laughs> out on I feel like I left my keys somewhere. That's how yeah, I be feeling no, like. I don't wow. really get like quiet moment. Like everybody be saying that even when I ride around in a car. Uh -huh. Like I need noise in, in order to feel quiet. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> it quiets your mind. Like, yeah, wow. like I could be listening to a lot of music and I'd be thinking about like I'm really it's it's probably quiet in my mind, but it's loud outside. Mm -hmm. Like outside of my head, but I'm really thinking about like a bunch of different things, you know what I mean? But I don't really necessarily just sit still in silence. Like, Listen, if, if I could just give you one thing, if you can get, take some time to yourself, just five minutes, it might be hard, mm -hmm. but if you commit like for three months straight, five minutes, Mm -hmm. A quiet time for real, for real. You get a lot of reflection about like where you are and really feel good about your progress. But mm -hmm. you got to give yourself time. Don't just do it and stop. You know how people say, yeah, I can't meditate. No, yeah. no, you really got to lock in you for a minute. make it a habit. Yeah, for yeah, real. It's peace. Yeah, yeah. And then you get back to the noise. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about your first official viral moment. Mm. And that was, that was the one where you was walking down the block. No, Would you say that's that your first official no, one? No, that wasn't. <laughs> that's not, a no. Uh, do you feel like that one got more buzz? <laughs> Absolutely. That, right. So, so like everybody recognized you off of that one. But what yeah. Was, so what was your first official, original viral moment? I wouldn't even say viral moment. Just something that had cool traction. Like you gotta understand. Like I, I was doing so much music. Even just me doing the videos. Like I was. I had so much music. Like um, 
Cause I had I went to college, you know, I mean, with the Westchester University. So like, I had went through a lot while I was in college. You know what I mean, I ain't had like your typical college experience. Uh-huh. Yeah, like yeah. I went to jail, <laughs> <laughs> selling drugs, uh-huh. doing all type Doing of crazy college stuff. Yeah, we, that should happen. Uh-huh. You know what I mean, so college be crazy. I, yeah, so it was like <laughs> I, I always was rapping, but it's like um, once I went to college and. I always was rapping even in college, but once I had kind of went through what I went through up there, like mm-hmm. going to jail and, and going through what I went through, once I finally got back to go to college, I kept I kept making sure that I was rapping because once I had got kicked out, I was like really back on my music mm-hmm. type right. time, you feel me? So I was in a studio it made you a focus lot. focus on yeah. the music part. But then I was like, I know I'm going to want like, I know I'm going to want to go back to college, like if that's what I decided to do, and that was what I decided to do. Uh-huh. So I'm like, once I get back, I got to make sure I still stay on my music shit, because right. like a lot of times, when you're doing a bunch of different things, Something you might, gotta yeah, take the, yeah, right. music. I sometimes I put Something music to the, the back burner, seat. exactly. Right. So I'm like, I ain't going to do that this time. So right. once I went back up school, I was in a studio, going to school, going to work, I'm saying catching a bus to the studio, like yeah. what were you in school for? Like engineering? Communication or studies oh, with a focus okay. on marketing. Um initially it was a uh, sound recording and music technology, but So you even went to school nice. for focusing music. on thinking uh, on yeah, about initially, music. Initially, yeah. That's but what's up. It was kinda like what you going there for to do that for, you wasting time and money. Yeah, I could just do that mm-hmm. in a hood. Straight out so the, I just right. you know what I mean, right. so I right. switched it. I know. Right. You know what I mean? Uh so yeah. I was up to college catching a bus, the G bus. In the cold, you know what I mean? To like, the studio. To the studio, then catching it back. Like, catching the G-bus, then right. the L, and get another bus back. Mm. All the way to school. Yeah, so it was like I had so much music. Then I graduated. Boom. All right. School done. I ain't trying to get no 9 to 5. I, I, uh-huh. I'm going to try to go hard with the music. So right. I was always going hard with the music. Boom, boom, boom. I got a lot of music. So much music. I'm seeing <laughs> niggas going viral on the gram. I'm like, that's the way to that's get the way uh-huh. to music. Uh-huh. Got all this music right here. Boom, we doing Move Maker Monday every Monday, every, or every other Monday. So I'm just doing videos. And you just was doing every other doing Monday. Did you see the energy shift, though? Doing when videos. When he started, with how it started, doing the college videos. and this, but the shift. Yeah, mm-hmm. doing videos. Um, I got one started. joint. Uh, it was the Colin Kaepernick joint. I had wore the Colin Kaepernick jersey, and I was walking, I was on, uh, right on, on the Ave, on Elmwood Ave, walking past the police station, mm-hmm. and I was talking about, like, Cause I had got booked. with the nilly yeah. and everything. Yeah. No, I was t- well. Yeah, in a sense. It was, yeah, but I was really talking about. Well, yeah, you're right with the nilly, but also right. like what I had went through personally. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. I went through some stuff with cops personally, which is why I got arrested. Mm-hmm. You know and I mean, but uh, you want? I was talk about to say about that. It a you want to? Oh yeah. Little, I mean, little, I, was I was trying to get y'all the. Uh, I was trying to get y'all the, the short version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. just just so you know, cause we all you know we in this moment right now where police injustice is a big thing. Boom. Yeah. So it's something Absolutely. that you know that everybody should understand that we all go through it. But there's no reason that you yeah. can't still follow your dreams. You can't still yeah. become successful. You know, you on the road to do what you want to do, and yet you still had your issues with. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, police injustice. So what was yeah. your situation? My situation, I really feel like it was my karma, cause I had this so much stuff in the hood. And, and I ain't never get caught. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never get caught for doing that. So it was like I kind of took the hood mentality when I finally went to Westchester. Mm-hmm. There, um, mm-hmm. that's what a lot of us do too. Yeah, That'd be the so bad it's thing. like we come um, from these streets and then we go. Yeah, we go to another environment. And they ain't having it. Right. But it wasn't necessarily my. Well, it wasn't my fault at all. I had we had threw a party. Police, uh, the party and I'm getting <laughs> shut down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I try to go back in the party to get my stuff. The cop was like, no, you can't come in this joint. I'm like, this is my party. How you going to tell me I can't come in here? Right. So I try to walk past him. Damn, start trying to grab him. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Tussle, boom, he got a concussion. Oh. 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 You know what I'm oh. I got <laughs> felony charges. Missing, I mean, they charged me all up. Oh. Uh, ended up going to jail for like two months behind that. This after I got kicked out, I had to pay the school, pay a bunch of lawyer fees. Oh, okay. you know what I'm saying that's crazy. You turn your pain. Yeah, it was like, yeah, no, it was like, this, this is my whole thing with like police. Like, I understand authority. I, I, I always understood authority. Mm-hmm. I just never uh, felt like nobody should be able to run me, which is why I can't right. work a nine to five mm-hmm. and shit like that. But that's, that's I res- for a lot of us. Yeah, but I respect. Yeah. Somebody will put their life on the line every day to do their job. Just right. don't abuse that. Right. Don't try See, to make it's, me it's feel a, like... It's a thin line. It's like yeah. you got to have 
You can have authority, right. but you got to use your authority with right, right. respect. Yeah, so a respect. lot of dudes, That's, they yeah. weigh their authority around, but they, they don't use no respect. Yeah. So now you're going to get this brolicness yeah. from me. And I yeah, feel like I always right. tell people negative begins negative. Yeah. Like if, if you give me negative energy, you're going to get negative energy yeah. back. So now that's how we're going to get into this whole situation. Yeah. But there's ways to use your authority and also still keep things calm. And a lot yeah. of them, you know, officers don't really. Yeah, I don't, don't think like that. somebody touching you. Should be like cool. Like, yeah, you put yeah. Your that's hands what I said. <laughs> I was saying? watching some. I'm like, that's yo, like, once a cop put his hands on you, is it not something yeah, to fix? Yeah, like, that's what yeah, I was. That's smooth. what I was saying. That was like my whole uh, spill to what right. was going on. Then I'm like, man, I'm up, I'm up to college. I'm doing this. I'm doing this good. I'm in this org. I'm in oh, that look org. At you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm up here doing good things. Uh huh. Right. Y'all kick me right out. Treat me like I'm a. Convicted like fella, I ain't even got a record trash. yet at this time. You right. feel me? Like you haven't been producing. Yeah, like he exactly. wasn't an educated so, man up here so really trying like, to get your education. Yeah, so it's like for me to had to go through all that, the lawyer, the jail. I'm like, damn. Once I came back to the hood, I'm mm-hmm. like, I could be in my bag and just get to what I'm uh-huh. used to doing. But I was like, I'd have wasted my time. I'm right, like, I'm not gonna let them make me waste my time, and I'm gonna go back to the same school. Y'all gonna take me back. Y'all <laughs> I'm, gonna say that I'm gonna pay what I gotta pay, and I'm gonna do this shit my way, and that's what I did. And that's what you did. I mean, graduated 2017. Congratulations! Congrats, and my brother. I just been, uh-huh. yeah, appreciate so you, that. I've been on college, a mission college ever degree since. rapper. Cause you yeah, know your yourself. worth, though. Yeah, like no, you said. That's, that'd be the thing. I'm real Ooh. big on that. Um, Ooh. but yeah, that's that's what really had happened with the police officer. Basically. Put his hands on me. I put my hands back, and then, uh-huh. yeah, and then it went. Like, and I mean, yeah, I got you. I understand. Mm-hmm. That's cool. But, uh, I mean, I ain't go, that ain't cool. Yeah, but I <laughs> yeah, got yeah. it. It, it, it was a lesson. It was a lesson for me, definitely. Uh, that's why now, even Always when people like be like, like that, help you get it was to where you are. Definitely a lesson. Because so, so, I ain't gonna hold you. In hindsight, if I never really would have that would have happened, I probably never would have started start getting back on the music. You feel me? And so do, that, like, do that give you like a and this is no 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 ignorance or disrespect, but does that give you a different level of street cred too, even or in the music? <laughs> no, I no. Don't, I, don't, I can't say I don't I've never seen him play that type of card. Okay. Even yeah. when it comes to like his past, his message what, has always been something positive. If you don't put it out there, but you know how like it's just an image or something that people will give you. So you're like, I asked for this role, but then people start seeing you like, like oh, the stigma mm-hmm, that they put on you. So then it might be a good thing in the street life. Like, well, you've been through this. Well, I, don't, nah. I, don't really, yeah, I, don't I don't really subscribe to certain. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess you had to be you know a man? certain type of guy yeah. to really let something like that be okay. yeah. something that you use. I'm just who I am. Okay. You know I mean? A corner boy. Whether I did, whatever yeah. I do, I don't know. I mean, or have done, or mistakes I made, I'm just who I am at the okay. end of the day. You know what I mean, I'm, trying to get through life, trying to get to where you're trying to be. I don't big nothing up. So that goes back to your own reassurance. Yeah. And back to where we initially were talking about that first viral moment. Like, when yeah, did you know yeah. it was? Um, it was up. Yeah, because, like, yeah, like I was saying, uh, had all the music pretty much prepared. I did the Kyle and Kaepernick drum. We was walking past uh, the police station. So I'm rapping my heart out. I'm talking about crackers is locking us. Nobody's stopping them. Don't believe what the media have been feeding us. They just watching them. So when I see a cop die, shit, I ain't surprised. I don't cry for them. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun and the niggas start popping them. So I'm just, I'm walking past the police station saying this though, with a Colin yeah. Kaepernick joint on. Hoodie, I got like 12 people behind me. We walking mm. past the police station. And that shit ended up getting posted on like Philly Classics or somewhere else in some other place once I posted it. I'm like, damn, that's like my first real right. bit of traction that I got. Like, cause at first And I, it was natural. It wasn't yeah, something it was that you like, yeah, put to these platforms. Sure. They no, just picked, they just it, up. picked it up. I ain't even know how to do all that uh-huh. shit. You just like, I'm going to just rap to somebody and get it. I ain't know how to do <laughs> none of that shit. Yeah. So I just had posted it. Um, people was picking it up, I guess. People was sending it out or whatever. Um, and my girl at the time, because I was like, I was only getting like 1,500 views, 2,000 views on my freestyles. But mm-hmm. my first joint, my first, first one, I had like 1,500 views and like over 100 comments. Mm-hmm. And I got like 2,000 followers, so mm-hmm. that's good. Uh-huh. It's about them comments, you know boy. Uh-huh. It's definitely about the, <laughs> the interaction you get from the people. But yeah. um, we about to take a break real quick because I okay. know we get hungry. It's getting mm-hmm. late. We ain't eat yet. You know, we yeah. working. And then we're going to get into, I know you got some bars for me. You got something for me? <laughs> we're going to talk about it. We're going to put this plate together. We're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? It's your boy Smooth. Your girl, Annie D, cooking up 215. My man, KP. We'll be right back. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Chef. 
What you got cooking? You already know. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Ani D, cooking up. And we are back at it. First of all, let me introduce this beautiful food before we get back into it. We got our chicken, our white rice, and our llama beans. Mm, I can't, can't touch to that. Eat. Can't, wait to, can't eat. wait to eat it. Something yummy. But let's get back to it. We got our guy, KP. Let's get back into where we left off, that beautiful viral moment that you were telling us about. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, appreciate that. Um, Hope definitely y'all appreciate I'm the a, food. You know, while you talk, I'm a... Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, my yeah. brother. Go ahead, you know. Um, you that. Yeah, pretty much. Like I was saying, the uh, I had a did a pretty much a video with uh, Colin Kaepernick, Jersey, walking past the police station in Southwest. And that was kind of like my first video that got a little bit of traction. At the time, I was with a girl... My, my old girlfriend, she was like, uh, you keep doing the videos just talking your shit and talking your hood shit, boom, boom, boom. Why you don't do something that's like... Uplifting? Not just uplifting, but like with different. A yeah, yeah not, not even positive message. Just more so like uh, like a message, like storytelling. Because uh, like, okay. I'm naturally a storyteller. I've been right. rapping like that all my life. She was like, tell stories. Like kind of how I did with the Kaepernick John. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, one week I do that, and then the next week I have a John where I'm do, telling stories. I pop my shit, then I tell a story. So the, probably Give like two weeks later, everything. yeah, exactly. So probably like two weeks later, I did my set with a murder down Kensington, and I ain't know. I knew it was going do some numbers, but mm-hmm. I ain't know it was going to go how it went. Like the, my whole timeline being nothing but me on it. Like mm-hmm. that shit just was crazy. I thought I was going to do, I knew I was going to do like 10,000 views on that. Like, I'm like, I'm just guaranteed, like, just the way it look, Mm -hmm. like the visual of it, all that. Um, But yeah, that was like my, the big video that put me like on a map like that. Right. Y'all got somebody down here in Philly that's really rapping, rapping and really like doing it in a different way. You know what I mean? So that was like my, my, definitely my biggest video and definitely like the, Biggest video that got me on the map. I feel like, and at that time, it was a couple other people. You had Gunjin. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? Oh, L- L- yeah, Qua, mm-hmm. LPQ, Qua, or something L- like that. Yeah, something like that. LGP. Yeah, LGP, yeah. Qua, and that's pretty much. It was like pretty much like y'all three. I would yeah. say like that was really yeah. giving people, you know, some storytelling with some some messages behind it that was gone. But I could say out of them. I know Quad did go on and do some things, but I don't really hear about him like that. Like, you know, I don't know what he's doing behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. I feel like Gungeon kind of took a step back, too, as well. Yeah. I feel like you are one of the only ones that's really still, you know what I mean? You managed to not just stay a moment yeah. and, and, and really, you know, turn it into yeah. a career. Yeah. I mean, because you got to understand, bro, I, I was I'm smooth. I was rapping. <laughs> forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this what I mean? Is, like, I was rapping way before and do the gram, gram, viral. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's like, I was doing, I was rapping way, way, way before the gram, like, since, like, third grade, shit like that. Right. Like, I don't even write raps in my head. Mm-hmm. I just, I only write raps down, I write them in my head, you know what I mean? So it's like... It was natural to you. Yeah, yeah I've been so it's doing really that, what you like, do. You know even though when you said that third grade, I like that song. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> like, uh, uh, out now, YouTube, third yeah. grade, check it out. The whole visual. Yeah, no, thank you. Everything. Yeah, but... That's really why you you see that because right. it's like it, it's really yeah, natural. bro. It's really come it's, from the yeah. I don't, I don't from just, the core. This is I really, just, really yeah, you. I, I wasn't like just watching people get inst- lit yeah, and then, then like, get oh lit. yeah, let me. I was already doing this shit right. like, way before anybody even was thinking about rapping on Instagram. So I was you, already rapping. How you come up with your story? Like, so I know you get stories because you're outside, but mm-hmm. you say you don't get alone or you don't get quiet. So how do you put these stories together to rap it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just know just my experiences in life and uh-huh. you know what I mean? From going through certain things, seeing certain things, it's like it just, it just comes come natural, to you. I guess. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So You like you know how Jay Z said he never writes stuff, but you like yeah. that you could just boom. Yeah, you ready. No, I don't I don't write nothing down. Wow, that's the only like, time I wrote a, the last time I wrote a rap down I was in jail. Uh-huh. And that was only because I had too much shit. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, like I don't I ain't mindset before murder the, uh-huh. the most big viral video y'all mm-hmm. seen. Mm-hmm. I ain't write that down. Nothing before that. Nothing after that. The yeah, I seen how you how you came in and you was able to just um, pretty much recall your rap just at the snap like this. Yeah, yes. that's really dope. Cause yeah. uh-huh. you would think as a rapper you got so many different joints that yeah. you know, but you just it don't yeah, matter. No, it's just there. It's just yeah. ready. 
we're gonna put it to the test because we're gonna you know, we're gonna, <laughs> put, we gonna test, test your hand, you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. so I wanna talk about what you got going on now. So what's coming up for KP? What what can we be on the you know, on the watch for? Um, Who you plan on working with? I know you got um what was it called? Uh oh, talk about that's about to drop with y'all little mindset. Uh -oh. Mindset. There we talk go. Heavy. Mindset yeah. with y'all little B. So did that happen because of the Westchester connection? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm just saying because you know no, he's he from, from Westchester. Westchester. Chester, he Westchester. From Chester. I feel no, like no. Westchester. They same thing. No. Two, two different Hell places. No. Can't say it up there. Hell no. Don't, don't call, say it. Don't call it. a Westchester nigga. A Chester nigga. Don't call, don't a, call Chester. a Chester nigga. A Westchester nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Oh. <laughs> Ever. That's two completely different places. All right. I'm See, completely. completely. But that just happened based off of, um, he was doing a challenge at the time. He was doing like a Jalo Beach challenge. And I just mm -hmm. hopped on a beat, did a video, shit went crazy. He picked me as one of the winners of the challenge. Well, the winner of the challenge. Uh -huh. Right. And then it was like, he wanted to do like a four song EP. But I'm like, that's cool, you know what I mean? Because right. he's like, I, I'm going to fly you out L.A., boom, 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 boom. Right. You're going to get in the studio, record. I'm like, all oh, that shit, cool, but I could do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what I need. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm like, I got this mindset of a murder video that I just dropped, and I don't have a, the actual record, the mm -hmm. recording of it out. It's mm -hmm. not out. I'm like, I need to basically build a project around that. Right. And I was like, I would like for you to be that person that I do that with. And, it just, nice. and yeah. it just went from there. Yep. So what's your relationship like now? Is it is it flourishing? Like y'all truly it's got a work relationship? Now, um, especially after the pandemic, because this shit has slowed a lot of shit yeah, down. The pandemic mm -hmm. put a halt on yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I lost a lot because of the pandemic. A lot of momentum and everything. Not momentum He's still necessarily. Hungry. Um, okay. Money. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a couple of dollars from the. Uh, not from being the, able to do shows yep. and everything like I that. I had a foot logger situation. That got, they cut the budget on that. That got, that oh, got yeah, checked. Oh, that's chalk. bad. That's dirty. Yeah. I was going to be hosting, like, uh, he was going to be doing these cyphers in, at foot logger, like, every right. month. I was, oh, that's dope. I was going to be, like, and they killed the main the whole situation. That. Yep. Just uh, bringing rappers to the, to the foot cypher, to the, Yep. That would have been heavy, too. Super. They need to put that, that they, back in the mix now. They got the budget. I'm, I'm with it, but... They Something better coming. a phone call, yeah. man. Tell them, like, <laughs> tell them make it happen. Yeah, you, but, got, um, you got bigger stuff coming. Yeah. So you believe having deals <laughs> under the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... um, Is it label talk? Hey. I don't talk about that. Oh, I can't man. talk can, about can that. Can't discuss the label talk? Yeah, nah. Gotta talk to the lawyer first? Yeah. <laughs> lawyer. My, man, <laughs> I don't, he, my manager ain't here. He'd tip on me if I just start talking about that. But, uh, we can respect you know what I mean? Uh, can't mess up as far as Jalil go, yeah, it's pretty much our relationship good. We shooting visuals right now for the Mindset Project. Mindset is basically, like you said, like the video that I went viral for and all right. like the, the parts of it. Like it was like part one, part two, part three, the mindset right. before murders, mm -hmm. mindset aftermath, whatever. It's pretty much that project, but it's on wax. And it's right. like, it's produced by Jalil. And then you got other songs that's kind of like stories and like um, different vibes, you know what I mean? So it's like a dope body of work. Like when it come out, y'all like gonna full yeah, body. Yeah, it. Gonna it's not it. just records. It's nah, really it's, a full it's, body. Of work I don't do nothing that comes from something. Yeah, anytime I put a product together, it gotta have like structures where you can just play it straight through. You know what I right. mean? And it flow. So, so yeah. you here? This is where you are right now. I know you said you've been doing this forever since you was little, twelve. Yeah. What was the twelve year old mindset? Now, what were you rapping about then? I was rapping about shooting shit, <laughs> 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 carrying guns. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, pretty much the two types <laughs> yeah, of So you see the evolution? Yeah, no, for sure. I um I like I, I was raised in that, so mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that type of stuff. So for me to make the same type of mistakes would be stupid. Okay. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So and what you feel about rap right now? How do you feel about the 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 aura the current, of the culture. Yeah, yeah, the current state of the culture right now. Like where do you think we, we are mm. when it comes to music? Let me sit back for that. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we kind of left the mumble rap era and kind of like real rap is kind of coming back just a little bit. It's I feel like it's a little stylish, like call it like designer rap almost. Um, it ain't really just all mumble jumble, but it's like yeah, mumble cool rap. Shit, I definitely really don't some some, some don't, something too. That's kind of I'm definitely feeling like that's uh, out the window a little dead. Yeah, but 
Auto tune definitely still around. The singing definitely still around. The harmonizing gonna be around. Yeah, I was listening to Ja Rule. I was like, man, niggas been harmonizing. I don't know why yeah, they act like this is a like, new thing. Yeah, Ja Rule yeah, and Fifty right. been doing this. Yeah, it was it's was next le- it's next level. It's, now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You we really got, got some like, drinks out here. <laughs> now it's singing like on track. Two thousand. What? So when you're not listening to yourself or you know recording, what would you listen to? If I'm not listening you, to me. Uh huh. What would you listen to? Or do you, you, know, what do you um, listen to? <laughs> I probably listen to like Cole. Okay. I listen to Tory. Mm-hmm. I listen to like if me like I like I was just listening to Expensive Pain, John. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. You want to talk your views on that project? Nah. nah. <laughs> I don't want to make it about that. But I All like right, I good. like I like some of them Jones on there. Uh. Okay. What else? Dirt. Mm-hmm. Um. I just started listening to G Herbo. I never, really, I never really was a. I don't listen kid. to Herb like that. I like he got that. some he shit talk, though. though. Yeah, he, he be really, talking some shit. He do. Um, yeah, that's it, probably. probably East. I, that's, I like some of East shit. I like I a lot like of East. East I feel like East don't do enough. I feel like he don't do enough. But he. But I fuck with East. Yeah. I fuck with East. I mean. Is it anybody that dead or alive that you want to work with? Tupac. My favorite rapper of all time. For real? That's yeah. dope. So you can see that in your in your music, the inspiration. Oh yeah, you think so? Yeah. Yeah. No, behind at least for the, you know, like yeah. the murder yeah. mindset mm-hmm. type vibes and everything yeah. like that. And your your aggressiveness. Yeah. Like but Tupac was one of the ones who, who yeah. came off with his aggression. Like you could feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, X would have been one of them too. I get a lot mm-hmm. of comparisons to DMX. I really like DMX just how See, he spoiled his truth. Uh-huh, too. the truth. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Vulnerability. Like, I speak with like, that feeling. You be speaking yeah. like, when you rap, like, you could really... Yeah. Like the You emotion. sound like you angry sometimes. Like, you could come off like yeah. you really... But X was real. She's snapping. I, I feel like I would have, would like, a, I would have had a... If I really had met X, it would have been phenomenal. Uh-huh. I, ain't get to meet, I never got to meet X. I was One That's time I could have met him, and it was in Atlanta, and I chose to go to another party. I was... Fucking stupid for that. Oh, well. But um, I like X because people say like we kind of some certain deliveries. What I do like he could be no 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 I bring it down like, uh-huh. like I kind of study that like that yeah, yeah like I be hype one minute then I calm. calm down then yeah. jump and that's up, what I'm saying because your, your energy so, different because. If somebody listening to us talk right now, they probably wouldn't think, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's KP will be snapping like that. Like yeah. you be. Yeah, I be chilling. I be trying to chill. You, yeah. You be like oh, yeah. talking all <laughs> laid back and humble, that's like. What, Cause yeah. that's what stood out to me even with your rap. That part where you come in real chill. Yeah. And then you just peek. Yeah. And then you might chill again. Yeah. Man, what's uh-huh. up, man? You gonna give us something for me? I mean, because I'm trying to get yeah, hungry, man. Yeah. Look, yeah. Come on, give me like a small little. Come on, man. They want to see. How you compare yourself to DMX? They might want to know. I say I compare myself they to might DMX. Wanna know. I say I get comparisons. They want to see the similarities. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, just give us a couple of little Some jokes. Some little flames. You know Don't burn the house down. Bars. Just a little, bars. little bit. Man, taste man. test before we get the taste testing. You know what I mean? I even got in my head right now. Nice cars, nice clothes. Pocket full of Benjis. I got drug dealer goals. Putting product up in empties. Know how drug dealing goes. And I just want the bitches, I could feel it in my soul. Stuffing models in the whip, windows tinted, then they'd roll. And I just needed models, and them niggas played the role. They was leaking, I would follow. That role ends with a toll. Lord, forgive me for my sins and the things I did not know. Because truth be told, I never was the same after that. Seen them cooking cane, that shit fucked my brain after that. Vision clear in sight, I knew that later I'd be trapping packs. This what men do, right? I'm just adapting to my habitat. Told me you got waiting, I was copping, wasn't waiting. Once that trap phone's ringing, ain't no stopping, no escaping. Many nights I was broke. I just never let it break me. On the news, they getting smoke every day that shit was breaking. Mm. I'm just thinking, I can't never let that be me. I need my family smiling like them white folks on that TV, so I gotta keep hustling. I just gotta move discreetly. Hood niggas losing bouts, but I won't let these streets beat me. I'm about getting out. This shit ain't easy. Buy my mama house, new dresses, whatever she need. You know, new jewelry, them S's after the VVs. Fell in love with the chase, so they mistakes would soon repeat me. Ooh. Ooh. He said, don't burn, burn the house down. Yeah, don't burn us down. Yeah, look, he, act like he, didn't even, he was waiting. He no, was waiting. I really had to he think was waiting, but yeah. I appreciate you giving us them, them bars, you know what I'm nice. saying? Let the people know where they can follow you. If they ain't already following you, how to keep up with everything you got coming up. Um, Follow you on the gram. It's just KP. Uh, YouTube, it's just KP. Spotify, KP. 
title is KP. We working on the Apple Music metadata right now, so that's why I ain't really putting out uh, no singles and shit like that, because I want to put everything out the right way. Right. You know what I mean? So we doing shit real, real big 2022. I promise you, like, we got a lot of it's going stuff on. going on. It's going all so, over. So, like, yeah. if y'all can see it, y'all, y'all, it's going to be a roller coaster. Know, 2022 is definitely going to be a different type of year. Even, like, 20, a little bit, some, some more 2021. Bit of this year. Yeah, yeah, like, y'all right. going to see. Well, I appreciate we you did. coming, man. Having this meal with us, having no, this talk no with us. Y'all already know it's your man Smooth. And your girl, Ani D, cooking up. We're cooking up in the kitchen, and we out of here. Peace.